All right, uh, the hand turned out. I was able to uh, have it glued to the original armature, the main armature, with some uh, Gorilla Glue. I am really impressed with Gorilla Glue. I'm not kidding you. Anyway, let's get started on today's sculpture and uh, a day with clay and with lemon. Can't be bad. Time to play with some clay. found uh, some pictures on uh, the muscles of the back that I had in my reference material on my art folder and uh, found a picture of a guy that a little over muscular but enough to show me how that muscle reacts the trapezius muscle in the back of the uh, shoulder when there's pressure pushed onto it. And so I'm sort of following that picture right now on my iPhone. I'm trying to make him as muscular as the guy in the picture, but I'm trying to reduce the size of the muscle a little bit, but still have the same effect. Okay, I'm just going to use a little Ronsonol lighter fluid on the back of this uh, guy's back. Like I said, I don't know how much of this is going to even show because, uh, quite honestly, I haven't put the headdress on yet. But I want to make sure that I got my bases covered when I do. Because it'll be really hard to do that after the fact.
I gotta adjust the lights so that I can see better what I'm sculpting here. Again, I'm not trying to over-muscular him. Is that a word? <laughs> anyway, I'm just, uh, I want to show the muscles without overdoing them. came up with a term many years ago about what a sculptor does and what we are basically as a shadow shaper. We shape shadows and that's what I'm doing right now. Shaping shadows. Okay, now is the time I start working on the feathers. I've got all the feathers right here, ready to go. And uh, I'm just gonna do a little work on them and uh, start adding them to the head of this warrior. Now I wanna make each wrap on the quill the same length. And so I set my uh, trusty calipers to that length. Now these are the center feathers. These are the ones that are going to go on the front and top part of the headdress. Okay, I'm going to have a slight air movement on his uh, headdress. I got to outline 
the headdresses hat because it was uh, the feathers were sewn onto a cap. Oops, too far down. There we go. So that's the line that I'm going to put my feathers on. Taking some effort to get these feathers on that headdress. I think I got it okay. Now somehow I gotta make it all castable. I can't have gaps between the feathers. And so I'm gonna probably put fluff, eagle fluff, on the cap. And that uh, is typical too, so it's not something that's unusual. I've got the feathers reacting to the shoulder of the uh, warrior. And, uh, all right, uh, somehow, this eye got screwed up. Both of them have, so I'm going to have to readjust those. Not a big deal. I've got uh, streamers that are going to be hanging from the uh, mm -hmm. little circular, circular uh, endings of the uh, headband. Um, I'm trying to decide whether to put uh, hawk feathers uh, or ermine, but uh, I'll figure that out by next week. I'm going to take a few days off now, and uh, I'll see you guys Monday, yeah. but I may come in down here and work tomorrow. I don't know. I've got uh, some things I've got to do, and I've got to decide whether to do them tomorrow or not. I like how his arm came out and his hand. I mean, I'm really satisfied with the whole thing right now. And I'm glad I did the back the way I did because, like I told you before, I just didn't know how much was going to be covered. And uh, this is the part of the back that was, was completely covered. It all depended on the direction of, of the headdress, and that's the direction I've got now, so... I kind of had a feeling this would be the shoulder that would be covered by feathers. So it's coming together. All right, I'll see you next time. Whether it's tomorrow or Monday, I'll see you next time. Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.